Well, did the woman die while she was giving birth to the child? Died, yes, she died. The child while died. giving birth? W yes. Okay, so you don't think that maybe she was the one that chose that she was going to give that child a chance and maybe she was willing to risk? I'm trying to tell you the facts about why. You don't know what was going through that other woman's head. You were you, and you're sitting here trying to say what, why another woman died. How do you know that she, was, how do you know that she wasn't willingly willing? And A lot of black women do not have enough health care. Bullshit. Bullshit. In America, you got black women have the same health care white women do. No, they don't. Wait a minute. Uh uh. No, 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 sir. You will not. You guys don't have the same access to the same insurance as white women. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? There ain't a single insurance company on in this country that can discriminate and tell you they they won't insure you and give you the same quality that they will white people. They'll end up losing their fucking business. It's about the providers. It's about the providers and the service that is done in the hospital. Hospital. See when your wife got. Oh, so hospital, now now it's it's everyone else's job that you pick poor so poor when doctors. Your wife went to that. Well, let me explain something. When your wife went to the hospital, they greeted her. Her OBGYN made sure that she was comfortable. And you know her. what? Every t and every time I see a black woman go into the the same hospitals, they greet her with the same care and compassion and kindness that they did my wife. So don't give me that garbage. Rate for black women is about what that's bullshit. That is bullshit. That's exactly you gotta go. Y'all didn't we're put out his smoke. Y'all letting him escape. He gotta go. He just gotta yeah. go. That's bullshit. Been, his smoke been out. Where are you getting your facts from? His Where am I getting my out. facts from? He gotta go. Where are you go. getting that from? Reality. No, my facts are based on reality. reality. You're Reality. Gonna you're going to tell me, you're really going to sit and tell me that yeah, black that women don't have access to the same that's insurance and health care as white yeah. women. Yeah, that is absolutely are. absurd. Absolutely yeah, absurd. Yeah. Because, yeah. dude, the people that are doing that would literally be in prison for discrimination. They would shut their business down. You know, are you serious? Do you not look like you? you gotta go. Go. Wow. You guys are delusional. Delusional as fuck. And no, you wonder why you're single. You're, you're a white man. I'm you're single, but I know I'm a white man. man. I'm a proud cracker. And you're coming. Cracker ass fucker. Get him off the damn thing. For real, like somebody needs to get him up out of here because he's talking crazy. He has no idea what he's talking. No, about. I'm not talking. The only reason why I'm talking crazy is because I'm talking sense. No, you're coming from a white man's perspective. No, I'm coming from a man's perspective. It has nothing to do with white or black. You're making it white or black. You just made it white or black. And that's and that's why you made it white or black, because you're losing the damn argument with me. So you have to go and make it white or black. That way you can try and use that as your argument to counter deflect. The hell it ain't, dude. The only thing that the only difference in health care is whether or not you pay for your private health care or you get it from the government. If you get it from the government, obviously your health care is going to be shitty. I mean, look at VA. Look at the vets that have to go through the VA. That's government health care. It's shitty. And, if, and, and I'm telling you, government health care affects both white and black people. There's actually more white people that get that get medication than there are black people. That's Mine true. Is too loud. That's true. That's true. Right in that trailer park. Please go. Please it's go. Mike. Yes, you, yeah, you trailer park. park. The mic yes, is too loud. Him. Well, then I'll turn it down. Is that better? He's screaming you over us. Is that better? Right. It's because you're screaming over us does not make you right. It we doesn't. Hood, hood and so we have a cigarette in the house. Dog so you need smelling. to cut it out. Don't get his ass up out of here. Damn. So what? Why? Why he gotta go? Because because, that's because I'm talking. Are you serious? No, but him, no. you're always throwing out statistics. Throw out the statistics. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Okay, yeah, where did he get that from? Him. I didn't look. He clearly up. doesn't know. He he clearly maybe. So never what should heard I Google? What should I Google? What should I Google? Let's see. Women. Google. Uh, let, let me take. Let me, child let me take for you. black women. No Google. Google how nurses and doctors treat black women. Period. All right, let me uh, because I want to make I'm gonna share my my Google. Go, I want to make sure my X videos don't pop up. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I, they are. <laughs> um. So what is what is what was it? Hood Mystic. Google how doctors and nurses treat black women. The study will pop right up. Or what like implicit women? bias or racial disparity. Yeah, implicit yeah, bias. They feel black that black women, women don't. We just experience told him it. the facts. The fact that we're all black women sitting up here telling this, tell him the yes. facts. That should be enough. That's it. Mm -hmm. All really of you have up. kids. That should yes. be enough. Yeah. All of you have kids. Yeah. We have Google. every one of you. Of us. No. We all been to the doctor. <clears throat> no. 
Which one? And I guarantee so, you so, you're telling, so you're telling so you're also up here telling me that every hospital. doctor you've went to has treated you like shit? Nobody said that. There's but that is what you're saying, that, that black no, women get treated actually, by, like shit by their doctors. No, consciously, I actually yeah, chose a black OBGYN for that purpose because I knew exactly how I was going to be treated. I was going to be treated with respect. I was going to get treated with the utmost care so that I can birth both mm -hmm. children. Okay. Same doctor. Everybody's, she, enti everybody's entitled to that. Black I, I, woman, okay? I, so, yeah, everybody's entitled to, get, to, to choose whoever they want to have as their health care provider. And, and have the person that they feel lot, is best for them. What the hell has that got to do with anything? It's not a lot of us. That's not another reason why it has a lot, a lot to do with to it. Go have midwives and have home births and not go to these hospitals because we are dying in these hospitals. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, everybody, I'm, dude, everybody dies in the hospital. That, that's what they're no, for. No, not at the not the alarming rates that black women are dying. Oh, dude, it, it, look. I'm not a dude. Uh, what, what are the rates that they're dying at? We're gonna because, look it up. Because, because, getting the look, He's pulling it up. Wait, uh, so Hood hey, Mystic, I'm trying to fix, fix, find it. Well, let me give you this, Ham. Ham, Will, Will, Will did a super chat. That's quick and easy because that's the it. The Pew Research is stating the reason why U.S. fertility is at an all-time low is is for a couple of different reasons. The first one is children cost too much. The rising cost of children. The second one is high student debt by young adults. The number. What, what one, is this? What is this? Sorry. What what is this? So yeah, what is it? Angry what is the snowman stated the reason why um, there is low reproduction in the U.S. is due to the fact that women or men are arguing, and that is those are not the reasons. The reason the reasons is because. The high cost of rising children, meaning it costs too much to raise children, improve occupational opportunities for women, and the high level of student debt care by young adults. So that is why the, reprodu the reproduction is low, is because we can't afford to have the kids. So, so you're saying Pew Research is incorrect? I'm saying, no, that is what Pew Research said. What you just said, all the... The, the reasons bullets. why, yes, reproduction okay. is low in the U.S., those have been issues. Those have been issues with people that have kids for the, the entirety of mankind. You realize that most of the people that have kids are people I, that I'm, are I'm, I'm, I'm that are lower income. Facts. Those are the facts. There's nothing to do with anybody's same. opinion. Those are the facts. Can I just read something really quick that I found um, from the National Institutes of Health .gov. Um, And this is an essay, but I'm just going to read a quick little um, excerpt. It says research consistently has documented the continued impacts of systematic oppression, bias, and unequal treatment of black women. Substantial evidence exists that racial differences in socioeconomic and housing outcomes among women are the result of segregation, discrimination, and historical laws purpose to oppress blacks and women in the United States. Um, I, I won't go on, but that's just, it, 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 what we're saying is valid. I don't think that you're hearing what we're saying because everyone is talking over each other, but there are facts, there are stats that you can, you can look up about the unequal treatment and, uh, and about implicit biases against um, Black women. That's not to say that we don't have access to health insurance. It's not to say that we don't have any um, say over who our health care providers are, but there is a bias that exists and it would behoove you to Google it. So, Snowman, what about this, what about this point here, right? What's that? Uh... So, like, if I walk into a room, like, let's say my wife is trying to buy a car, like, then this happens. She's mm -hmm. trying to do something, but I'm not there. They treat her differently. When I walk in, the the, the that's the just normal, day. dude. No, that's that's normal society. I mean, that, that's just no, 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 no. But right, so that you agree, right? That happens, right, with women yeah, generally. Absolutely. Ladies, I'm just I'm I'm asking because I want some clear, you know, just just thinking logically. If if a lot of our babies are being born out of wedlock, do you think that is a causation for maybe the mistreatment? Is that there's not a man there to protect or because even when my when my kids are being born, when I get in the room, everybody stand up straight. Yep. They start acting different. That's so bad. are we saying are we just totally saying no way because it can only happen at at a car dealership? Or is what there some is there come on? Is there some is there some viability to that? That's all I'm asking. I'm just I don't gonna think say so one life doesn't mean absent absent father. The, the uh -huh. fathers are there when the children are born. Are they? Okay. Yeah. Are they? Yes. Sometimes. Hmm. But 
Sometimes it's not an answer. Come on, this is a I, subject. I, 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 I know my situation. So sometimes it's not an answer because you can say sometimes about everything. So what I'm asking is, are the we same saying when that you say all don't mean all? The same when you talking. say all don't mean all. So stop it. All right, let me. Yep, I would agree with you if there wasn't. What I'm um, saying, now nah, fuck that. Hold on, <laughs> that shit is starting to get on my nerves now. We understand that all don't mean all, right? But we're talking about that majority of things. There's always outliers. That's that's how. That's how you, that's what I'm saying there. But you can say sometimes about every single yep. aspect of anything. That's why I don't like it as an answer, especially with something as substantive as this, where we're trying to get somewhere. Sometimes doesn't apply because we can't learn from sometimes. I didn't say sometimes. I said they're there. You didn't say sometimes. I didn't say I you said sometimes. I was talking to Nate because when you say sometimes, it's like, yeah, of course. Yeah, Let me read it. I'm sorry. Look, 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 one, one second, bro. Let me read these super chats real quick. Uh, Mike Brown with the five dollars super chat. This was an older one. We keep dismissing financial, but it seems to be the number one need for women on the panel to consider dating a suitor. Hmm. In in regards to talking about Nick Cannon. Um. Oh yeah. So Mr. Britt, you got twenty in a kitty because Will had already kicked Sigma off. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you. Nina Angelina says there are so many women who who would like to be in a monogamous relationship, but the men that they're interested in want to date around and are not ready That's true. well with the ten dollar super chat this was sis was referring to black women have the highest maternal mortality rate in the united states 69.9 per 100,000 live births in 2020 but what are the outliers for that you well, know because there's got to be there's got to be causation for it i mean well i think that's what they would discuss let me let me read these i got two more try unpack with the five dollar super chat Good points about women, Angry Snow. And Mike Brown with the five dollars super chat. Um, he brought he sent the is this what you were going with, Ro? Is this the one you had? That's the one from CDC as far yeah. as the numbers. I so don't know if the CDC is really credible wild. anymore these days, are they? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> they, they, they were just involved in the biggest smoke screen in the world. I wanted to who, hand, who I wanted to answer the question. Camp, the reason why. People mm -hmm. stand up when you come in the room. You do that in every room you come in. So even if a woman is pregnant and she's having a baby out of wedlock and there is no father, mm -hmm. if her mother or her grandmother or an authoritative figure goes into that room and asks questions, they will stand up and they will act accordingly. Okay. Now, if she's there by herself, no, they won't. Okay, now, so you what, think what, what he's saying? There is some validity. As the as the um as the as a, as a man or uh the husband or the, yeah, the, the, the father the man or the husband is in there absolutely but also I feel like if there's an authoritative figure that knows how to ask certain questions and ask them why are y'all doing this what's going on with the baby then okay. they'll start to ramble. so you saying her mom or grandma can have the same impact as the man absolutely too. yeah if they go yes because they're experienced in their in in childbirth. I see what you're saying. So, um, yeah. So, my 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 logic only makes sense if they dolo. Even and I've been at R and D four times, and it's very very rare for a woman to be in R and D by herself. If it's yeah. two women in R and D, one of them is by themselves. Even the baby daddy is going to be there to deliver the baby. He might not be there every day for 18 years, but we generally view childbirth as a big deal. So, okay. and when we're there. It's a possibility that you will get mistreated because mortality, those things happen, even if everybody is there because we are not doctors and we don't know the intricacies of what happened. I've been to OBGYNs and the doctor is like putting this, the, what is that thing that they put on the lips to separate when you laying on the stirrups? The forcep. The forcep. Yeah. And the first of group inside of you, though, it's very yeah, uncomfortable you know. for women. You know what I'm saying? And and if they got a man OBGYN, like you can tell, it's some sort of like sickness to the whole. I've deal. never let a man put a put his hand on my wife's vagina other than me. Seriously. Sometimes you don't got a choice, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you actually do have a choice. But and you also have to go back to gynecology, right? And and the father of gynecology the and his experiment. Of uh, on black women without pain medication because the belief is black women do not pain tolerant. Yes. Well, well, we could sit and look the, when it comes to the medical system in general, it's got a history of torturing people in general. 
just no, to, to make, make breakthroughs. Women. It's not in general. Dude, dude, it's not it's not just black no, women no, 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 that have no, had no. had that stuff no, done to them. No, Everybody's no, been can't generalize this because we but, can all get on Google and talk about how the father of the OBGYN. No. You don't have OBGYN. That's dude. I'm so, uh, that's just women. one no, facet no, 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 of the medical no, no, industry. No, 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 you can't you you can't say anything else when you talk about the discrimination of black women there is no dis- the of the look, I'm not going to sit and say that there is a look I will not say that there is no discrimination today because there are people that are still discriminated and discriminatory and racist black mother but look there is the, the racism and discrimination that you're sitting and trying to say exists today does not exist sir no, so black women twice more likely to get hysterectomy. Look, if the look if the discrimination the that you guys existed resi- if uh, are trying to say exists today existed, then you, you well, wouldn't even have people like me constantly getting on panels with black people trying to have conversations and point out that this but does see, not exist. If you're gonna get on a panel with black people, don't. you gotta listen. You can't. Oh, you don't and know do what research. you're talking about. For you real. need you need to do research on this subject. I've done research on this subject. I know what I'm talking about. What does your lived experience tell you, though? No, no, you can re- you can no, read you anything you want. What has your experience in life told you? you to You're going to say, right? what racist experience have you had, then, sir? Tell me what racist experience you've had. Black. I have four children in R and D. Like I've been. And what 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 and what was what was racist about that experience? My wife was laying on her back when she was having her first child. That's unhealthy. She what, 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 what was raised? My wife was laying on her back. What are you? What? Excuse She's me. She's supposed to kneel so the baby can go She's down. She's supposed to kneel. Now. She's supposed to be in the shower so if the baby can come out yes. through gravity. But the yes. doctor is saying, oh, lay down, push, push. And, and you're then, not supposed to be laying down. My wife was laying down on her no, back no, when no, she no. gave birth racism. with all of our kids. Racism. Yeah, that's racism. not racism. Give the black woman the epidural. So they, they'll say, they say, push, yeah, push. You. And she says, I can't push. Well, do you want drugs? They don't know what to do. They're in so much pain. It's full trauma. They don't know what's going on. I've been yeah, in they do. A woman's having a kid. Bro, you, you, do you know, that the, do you know that the experience of a woman having a kid is the closest any individual, any Everything living person will ever come to right? death? And the fact is you need more dying. research. You, you angry. You need to I'm research. not angry. I'm not angry, dude. Uh, see your name, my guy. Wait, so wait, the kids aren't born. Wait, the lady's not on her back with She's the stirrup. She's supposed to be in a kneeling position or kind of upright so the baby can go straight down in the canal, not laying down. And I've, I've researched that in history. And all the midwives, they make sure that the woman is not necessarily laying on her back and she's a little bit further up and you do it in water. So, the, like, to this point with gravity. Oh, but I've been to the, here. but I've been there a bunch of times and she was and always she was laying there. down. Right. So is mine. Yeah. But not when you and have the midwives and doulas. No, they, they have, have that going up right That's not the way it works. But, but what I'm saying. Women have epidurals, though, at the same yeah. time. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they have epidurals. But but, but but that where's the racism in that part, though? Because my wife always laid down. The education, the knowledge. They get paid for epidurals. So if you black and yeah, anesthesiologist. Mm-hmm. The anesthesiologist, all of this is medicine that costs big money, and maybe yeah. our insurance covers it, but we don't have the knowledge of the money that this. This is a business. They don't care about mm-hmm. your health. Mm-hmm. They will give you an epidural and give you all of that stuff in your back, man. Uh, uh, what is that? What is that? Hip it medicine? paralyzes you from from the waist down. What is that? Oh, ladies have the bad hips because of the epidural. They can hardly walk. Our our black women are struggling, bro, like in pain. <laughs> A question: Are you saying that they're forcing the epidural on black women and not so much on other races? I mean, it's a business. They gonna they, but listen, like we we uninformed, we un we uneducated. Like when I when I go to when I when I'm in R and D, you know, it's young women, young men who don't know the. Wait, but, no, but not. I hear that. Me, but sir, what you're you telling did. me is no different than what I witnessed with my own wife. So I'm trying to figure out what's racist so, about what you're well, saying. Hold on, hold on, no man. Wait, wait, hold on. So I want to hear. So spec, it's okay to speculate for this for this segment. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that um, they are disproportionately selling epidurals to black women? I mean, I know for a fact they disproportionately do C-sections to black women. They disproportionately do hysterectomies to black women. Mm-hmm. And I just, I'm being anecdotal right now. And yeah, I, yeah, I, got you. I can be 100% wrong. And I know for a fact that they're going to 
drive home a point to make as much money as they can. Like the whole time that your wife is going to the doctors, they're telling yeah. her to take glucose and all of this type of stuff. And mm -hmm. it's like me and my wife had to do research and then had to combat the doctors. Do due diligence. Do yeah. our due diligence and say, well, these are our rights. This is our knowledge. Yeah. Now, so, so hood, 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 wait, wait, right. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So I got you, right? Mm -hmm. So who is that on? If 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 black if black families aren't doing their due diligence and then they get taken advantage of, who is that on? I honestly feel like it's part of the racist structure of the of our society. Like I, I mean, hold on, I, hold, honestly, hold, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that thought. Hold that, one thing, the hold that thought real quick. No, 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 no. I want you gonna finish. What I I just want to say something real quick about the panel. So what I want to do is I still got beans in the back. I got John the Baptist in the back. All right. We're going to open the panel up. We can continue this conversation. I do kind of want to get back to the other one. I'm going to give up my slot. I'm going to give it to John the Baptist right now. All right. Let Hood finish his pot. What I'm about to do is start the timer. It's a one-minute timer. So, Hood, I know you now, nigga. All right, now. Be succinct, asshole. Angry. You know I know you. Be succinct, dickhead. All right. Hey, dude. Look, I will not sit and lambast anyone. I won't, <laughs> I won't sit and filibuster, dude. Uh, love, bro. I'm watching y'all. Let Dana talk. And let sis talk. And sis, when you come off the mic, don't just talk shit. All right? And don't forget about Tay in the corner. Mm -hmm. And Isha was trying to say something. It would probably would have been half good at first, and she's going to fuck it up with something at the end. But that's facts. what she does. I got facts, homie. <laughs> All right, y'all good? All right, cool. Go ahead, uh, Hood. You you good? Hey, I'm love, good. watch I'm his good. ass. Watch he in the dark now. He think we can't see his ass. <laughs> watch him. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just.